Hey, good morning. Welcome back here to Sunrise at 644 on your Monday. And, you know, restaurants across central Indiana are offering free meals to people who are struggling to pay for food right now. And, Carlos, I know you talked to several restaurant owners on the south side, and I love that they're doing this. Yeah, I wanted to focus, Ben, on all the restaurants all over central Indiana, but so many are doing it. I had to stay to the south side. And so with Shallows has been serving the Greenwood area for 40 years. I talked to their owner who says he started a soup kitchen, and people are actually driving up wanting to give money to the soup kitchen instead of taking soup, which is a nice dilemma to have. We created a soup kitchen the day after we had to close down. We decided to create an everyday anybody in need can come in, be as discreet as possible, come in, grab soup and bread, and we'll feed you. And, you know, we'll help out as much as we can. What's been the response so far? It's been overwhelming. I mean, it's the support, not just those who are in need, but as well as those who just want to contribute, coming up and, and donating money uh, to the soup kitchen has just been tremendous. I never would have thought it. Scott Sims, the owner of Between the Bun off State Road 37 and Southport Road, is giving away free food to members of the medical field. I am showing appreciation since they're on the front lines, putting themselves in danger. I am trying basically to help them and take care of some of their needs by offering a free meal when they bring in their badge. Um, they can pick a day to come in, get a burger, a uh, hot dog, or a couple of our chicken soft tacos with a side of fries. And why are you doing this? You know, I think they're underappreciated. I think that, um, you know, nobody takes into consideration the um, extreme um, peril that they're putting themselves in. I just think it's the, the thing to do to take care of the people who take care of us. Richard's Brick Oven Pizza down in Franklin has started a community kitchen. Every night they're giving away specially prepared food to those in need and the response has been through the roof. We're still open for service out the front door selling pizzas and we have a line at the back door picking up the free food and oftentimes the people that are picking up the pizzas are handed money over to help fund the free food initiative. So how many people are saying yes to this free food? We fed uh, about a dozen people the first night, then the word started getting out, and we tripled that the second night. The third night we were over 100, and now we're average to over uh, 200 every night. More than once uh, we've seen tears. These people really are desperate, a lot of them. Is this an example of Hoosiers being at their best? This is what Hoosiers do. We. Uh, we looked out for our own. Yeah, you know, I went down uh, on Saturday to Franklin to check out Richard's Brick Oven Pizza to see these 200 people. And it really is a long line of people waiting for the free food. And the tough thing is there are so many people, they actually have to have Franklin uh, community police there to kind of police the whole situation. But I really felt, Ben, that this was an example of even though restaurants are struggling because of the coronavirus restrictions, they're still finding ways to helping Hoosiers who have lost their jobs or are furloughed. Ben?